हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू लेटर्स मास्टर इंग्लिश टूडेज टॉपिक इज रिपोर्ट राइटिंग जनरली टू टाइप्स ऑफ रिपोर्ट आर आस्कड इन सी बी एस ई क्लास ट्वेल्व इंग्लिश पेपर न्यूज पेपर रिपोर्ट एंड मैगजीन रिपोर्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉट यू हाउ टू राइट अ रिपोर्ट फॉर मैगजीन इन लेक्चर वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू how to write a good quality newspaper report so let's get started now students what is a report a report is a factual description of an issue or a problem so here whatever you are going to report it should be based on facts you don't have to write your personal opinion a report is a brief account of an event that has already taken place it attempts to present the first hand information of an incident or event a report is usually of two types number 1 magazine report magazine report is generally written for a school magazine some examples of magazine report are annual day function exhibition fun fair visit to a museum independence day celebration and so on number 2 newspaper report a newspaper report is the one which is published in a newspaper so some examples of newspaper report are accidents theft bank robbery fire calamity disease outbreak civic problem etc so students in this video i am going to teach you how to write a newspaper report now students report writing it is question number 4 in your board question paper you are going to get a choice between article and report writing report writing is descriptive and analytical in nature it is based on verbal inputs and it is to be answered in 120 to 150 words one out of the two given questions is to be answered so students earlier report writing used to be for 10 marks but this year cbsc has made a change now your report writing is for 5 marks and that is why the word limit is also reduced now you have to write your report in 120 to 150 words okay now students here is the marking scheme that is division of marks report writing is for 5 marks so your format carries one mark now what comes under format your headline or title then the byline where you write reporter's name his designation for newspaper report it is usually staff reporter and then in bracket you can also mention the name of the newspaper after that you have to write the place in third line where the incident took place and also the date of the event so students if you have written these three lines you are going to get one mark for this point number 2 is content in content you have to answer all wh questions what happened when did it take place where did it take place who all participated how the incident happened so all such questions are to be answered and content carries two marks and two marks are for expression expression means grammatical accuracy whether your sentences are grammatically correct whether you have used appropriate vocabulary the words which are required for that particular report and whether your spellings are correct so for this one mark and then coherence and relevance of ideas and style 
कोहरेंस मीन्स लॉजिकल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ पार्ट एंड देन द एग्जामिनर इज गोइंग टू चेक वेदर योर आइडियाज एंड स्टाइल इज रेलिवेंट टू वॉट इज आस्क इन द क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज कीप दीज पॉइंट इन माइंड वाइल राइटिंग अ रिपोर्ट नाउ स्टूडेंट हेयर आई हैव गिवन यू सम टिप्स दिस इज योर चेक लिस्ट points to remember after writing the report you may check whether you have written all these points then only you will get full marks number 1 provide a suitable title or heading this is your very first line of the report then the byline write the name of the reporter mention the place date time and other relevant facts about the event and students please remember don't use first person pronouns we don't have to use i we me here because you don't have to express your personal opinion your report should be based on facts now point number 5 write in past tense so you are reporting an event that has already taken place which is over that is why a report is to be written in past tense usually past indefinite tense simple past tense write in reported speech so here you also express the view point of the eye witness so that is why you have to write this in reported speech use passive form of expression so students for writing a report you must have knowledge of past tense you must have knowledge of reported speech and passive voice and in grammar section i have already made videos on past tense reported speech and passive voice so you can watch those videos to get more knowledge about these topics point number 8 narrate the incident in chronological order it means the sequence in which they occurred number 9 develop ideas that is causes reasons consequences opinions logically that is coherence of ideas point number 10 present your ideas and impressions to make the report interesting so students if you keep all these points in your mind i'm sure you will get good marks now here is the format of the newspaper report first line headline or title see students your headline or title should be catchy it should arouse the interest of the readers and it has to be brief don't write more than 5 to 6 words in your title line number 2 is your byline where you have to write the reporter's name who has written the report and this is usually given in the question but students if it is not given in the question then you may use x y z x y z or a b c and after that the designation that is staff reporter and you may also mention the name of the newspaper in brackets now line 3 here you have to write place comma date and then you can begin your paragraph 1 body of the report paragraph 1 let us see what we are going to write here the first paragraph usually answers the questions who what where when why so in the first line you have to answer all these questions the report usually begins with the name of the city where the report is being written and the date when it is being written after that comes paragraph 2 the second paragraph should should tell the reader how the incident happened in detail so here we are going to answer how narrate the incident in chronological order 
that is the sequence in which it occurred report about casualties damage etc if any relief measures eye witness accounts add to the authenticity of the news also they may interest the reader include some quotes from the eye witness comments also describe what they felt about the incident then the last paragraph which is paragraph 3 this will include the action that has been taken so far or that will be taken reactions or statements of people or promises by authorities or steps taken now student here is sample report for you you are arun or aruna a staff reporter with the times of india you witnessed a fire accident in a slum area near simapuri write a report in 120 to 150 words to be published in the newspaper invent necessary details now let us read this report first the heading 30 killed 120 injured in a massive fire second is the byline by arun staff reporter times of india then place delhi 5th november 2020 nearly 500 dwellings were gutted yesterday evening at 8 pm in a devastating fire that broke out in a densely populated slum area near simapuri 30 people are reported dead while 120 are said to be critical so this is the first paragraph where we have answered all wh questions second paragraph the cause of the fire is still unknown according to an official the piles of plastic fed the fire which turned white there was panic and stampede as people rushed out of the hut beds fire brigade and police arrived at the spot within half an hour about a dozen firemen battled for 2 hours to bring the fire under control rescue workers were seen carrying the dead and the injured to the nearby hospital the fire rendered great number of families shelterless and without food paragraph 3 the chief minister of delhi visited the area and ordered an inquiry to establish the cause of the fire he also announced grants in the form of cash and kind to the families of the deceased and the injured so students this way you have to write report now it's homework time here is practice exercise for you traffic police has launched a special drive against pollution causing vehicles this has led to traffic jams and crowds at important intersections write a report in 120 to 150 words to be published in the times of india you are arun or aruna a staff reporter so students i hope after listening to these points you will be able to write a report on your own thank you very much for watching this video and for more such videos kindly subscribe my channel and please do not forget to press the bell icon for the latest updates so students if you have liked this video please press the thumbs up button and do comment and share my videos with your friends thank you very much